All right, everyone, I'm back. This is part two of the party shoe. So I wanted to talk some more about the party shoe, if you are a shoe lover. So if ever an excuse is needed to buy a new pair of shoes, surely a party is the ultimate one. It is the perfect opportunity to sideline those sensible work shoes, put them aside, and be carried away by the frivolity the frivolity of the occasion. Designers delight in luring us with dizzying arrays of divine party shoes in delicate fabrics, trimmed with rhinestones, butterflies, exquisite glass beads, faux pearls, and sparkling sequins. The goal of any party shoe is, of course, glamour. And at all costs, it doesn't matter if you cannot walk more than five steps at a time in your rhinestone bejeweled stilts without a little rest to regain your balance and your composure. Find a spot, stand there, and look good. The shoe party is on. You see, the following Four small words are guaranteed to bring happiness to the heart of any diehard shoe lover. Matching shoes and handbag. There is something truly pleasing and unquantifiable about the look and feel of the identically colored, stitched, or beaded material in all its glory, both on your feet and over your shoulder. The contribution that the matching shoes and handbag make to the transformation of a woman's whole ensemble is far greater than the sum of the parts on their own. The perfect marriage of shoes and handbag could catapult you to accessory nirvana, making you stand out from the crowd as the ultimate statement in style. How many of you have stood out from the crowd? And then, and then you, 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 you say, you know, I need to go on vacation. I'm going on vacation and I need that shoe. So why is it that we managed to pack the same number of shoes a lot for a weekend break to New Orleans as we do for a week in New York? It's quite simple, really. Girls, girls, girls. It's quite simple. It's a girl thing. We cannot survive happily with just one or two pairs of shoes. Oh no, like our male counterparts. Oh no, we need way more than one or two pairs of shoes to pack away to go to New York or New Orleans or wherever you're going. Different shoes go with different outfits. And we have to sometimes argue with our spouses or our, 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 our partners or our girlfriends. Girl, you don't need all that. Girl, yes, I do, because I need a pair of shoes to match every outfit that I got in this bag. Girl, who you talking to? I need my shoes. Girl, I want to look cute. I want to look good. I need my shoes to match my outfit. It is best to be prepared for all foreseeable weather changes and social activities throughout the period of absence. So we need to be prepared. We don't want to get where we're going to our destination and say, oh, I left those shoes at home. I wasn't prepared. No, we need to be prepared. So we take more shoes than outfits so we can be prepared. End of story. Period dot, as we like to say. A summer vacation is not a summer vacation without a pretty pair of sandals and painted toenails to match. See, you know, if we got on pretty sandals, we got to have our feet done. See, that's the, that's the requirement now. That's the new thing that's been going on for a long time. That if you got on a pretty pair of open toe shoes, you need your toes done. Matter of fact, you need your feet done. You need a pedicure to make those feet look gorgeous. To make those feet look like they never been walked on. You got to have a pedicure. Painted toenails to match to go with your pretty sandals. A sign of a truly great vacation is the purchase of a unique pair of shoes, a unique pair of shoes that will forever remind you of happy times spent away. And each time I went home to visit, 
my mother and I will go shoe shopping. I can still share stories with you about the shoes at Shoe Stop that I found. I was so excited every time I went home because I knew my mother and I were going to go to Shoe Stop. And some of you might know Shoe Stop from the Midwest in St. Louis, but we always went to Shoe Stop. And I found all the beautiful shoes. All of the beautiful shoes. And I would even take the time to ship them back because it was just too many to name because I'm a real shoe lover. I kid you not. I am a shoe lover at heart. And I like to talk about the happy times. And when my mother and I talk, which is usually daily, she says, don't you remember when you bought me that pair of shoes? And sometime I do, and sometime I don't. And you know why? Because it's just way too many pairs of shoes to remember. All you have to do is slip into your striped silk slippers. And you are quickly transported back to a special place. The sights, the sounds, and the smells of that intoxicating Turkish bazaar. For example, where you once spent hours nagging, haggling, not nagging, but haggling, and maybe nagging because you couldn't find your shoes. So it may be a good word. I was nagging because I couldn't find my great shoes, but I was haggling over the price of a rug while sipping what seemed like endless cups of fragrance tea. But yet and still, I will spend money for those shoes. And I might say, girl, I don't have money for that rug over there. I love that rug and I need that rug. It will go perfect in my bathroom. It will go perfect in my bedroom. It will go perfect in the dining area. But girl, I don't have money to spend on that rug. But as soon as you see the perfect shoe, you have money to spend on those shoes. But you didn't have money to spend on that rug. And then some people then, then, then might say, well, you got your priorities mixed up. But if you are a shoe lover, you can never have your priorities mixed up because again, a great pair of shoes is an investment. See, what better way to start your marriage life as you mean to continue, you know, the wedding party, commissioning a pair of made to order shoes covered in the material of your wedding gown? And see, some people have money and they can do that. And then some people are so creative that they know how to go buy a decent, simple pair of shoes and cover them to match the wedding gown material which will make you glide down the aisle feeling every bit the princess that you are. For the total effect, you will, of course, have a divine little handbag made and covered in the same fabric, too. The sheer luxury and indulgence is more than compensated for by the instant creation of your very first set of family heirlooms. To complete the thing, why not give your bridesmaids satin-covered evening shoes and handbag, handbags to match their dresses as a very personal thank you? As a very personal thank you gift that you know they will be able to wear and enjoy after the big day. Wedding shoes, by their very nature, are extraordinary shoes that need scrupulous planning at least as much time as that given to your gown, scrupulous planning. See, your shoes really need to be on spot, on hit. They need to be all that. Because most people, they look at you up and down. Yeah, they do. But when they get to your shoes and they look down at your feet, guess what? The shoes is what makes the outfit. Haven't you heard that before? Girl, the shoes is what make the outfit. And if your shoes is not on point, if your shoes is not what they should be and they're raggedy and scuffed up and run over, girl, then you might as well not ever put on a decent outfit and some raggedy bum shoes. Because shoes is what make the outfit. Sexy slingbacks may look appealing in your
you know, that brilliant white and feathered haze. But churches and reception venues may have mountains of awkward steps and slippery slopes to negotiate. Choose your shoes wisely and be sure to pencil in plenty of walking practice to guarantee that picture perfect day. So you got to get home and you got to walk around in those shoes and practice so that on your picture perfect day, you will not slip and you will look just as fabulous on your picture perfect day as you did on your first interview as you did when you first went out to a party or wherever you was going to an event, you were able to manage to walk in those shoes and have a perfect picture event. God bless you all.